For the sign of Pisces, hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see so what Pisces. Cool. For the recent past, which could have been last week, it could have been a month ago, six months ago, or it could have been much longer. We got the Queen of Swords, and it's with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Queen of Swords. It's pointing to a woman in your life. Uh, this woman is one who is not to be trifled with. She'll often have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. And if this is not an uh, actual person, it points to the need for you to be forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. So, in the recent past, you may have needed to put your foot down. Because the Queen of Swords, it can indicate that your instincts, they're serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and need. And it's all about going after it. Like I said, this Queen of Swords is a very, very forceful energy. And a lot of people find, find this energy really abrasive. Now, it's with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands... It can refer to a woman in your life. She'll have a lot of fire energy. Uh, this could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, when it's not referring to an actual person, it stands for getting a whole lot accomplished. And often, it could be focused. You could be focused on work or career. The Queen of Wands is a very positive, uplifting energy. When she stands for an uh, actual person in your life, she's a good friend who is 100% on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. Also keep in mind, if you're trying to conceive at this time, uh, this is one of the most positive signs that there can be, the Queen of Wands. So... Basically, Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords for your recent past. Uh, Pisces, it looks like um, someone was very, very determined about you in the recent past. Very determined. Because the Queen of Wands um, is, uh, this type of person can be really ego egotistical or they can come across that way uh, they know their worth they're used to getting what they want very confident the queen of wands and also like i said very determined um, but it looks like because it's with the queen of swords it looks like you cut this person out that's what i'm picking up you cut someone out that was very determined about you this person could have been uh, someone that was, it, it seems like, because it's the Queen of Wands, she's, this person is supportive of you. So why would you cut, you cut him out, you must have had a fallout with someone. Yeah. Now, this could have been um, your lover, this could have been um, a family member, it, could have been uh, someone new that you just met but you cut someone out that took a great deal of interest in you now let's see what's going on with the present time we got the two of Pentacles and it's with the Knight of Swords so the present time coming up in uh, this is the did I say this yeah, the third week of July. Well, just know that the time is fluid. So it could go a little bit before then, or it could go into August. But Two of Pentacles and Knight of Swords. Two of Pentacles is about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things because multitasking, it's not your friend at this time. So you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on two main priorities. Your financial situation may need to be more balanced. So you might want to pay attention there. Now it's paired with this Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, 
it brings a, um, a fairly upbeat, cheerful energy. It can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out, the Knight of Swords. It points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, more than likely, more than likely you will like what you hear. The Knight of Swords, it can point to a lot of activity, travel, being out, of, out and about, and getting things accomplished. So you're likely, you're unlikely, you're not likely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing, you'll be going after your heart's desire. So Pisces, for the present time, like I said, it could go towards the end of July or could be pretty soon we got uh, someone that uh, if you're waiting to hear from someone they're coming in they will be contacting you they'll be reaching out to you um, there's someone that wants to be with you yeah with a knight of swords here but it's with the two of pinnacles I'm picking up that you think this person uh, could already be dealing with someone you could uh, think that they're they, maybe they've got too much going on but I'm picking up that you think that they're or you know that they're already with someone but this person wants to be with you Pisces they're coming in if they haven't contacted you yet they will be This could be a love interest, or it could be, um, maybe it's a friend. Somebody wants to really reach out to you, but you think this person is, you might think this person is not, uh, they just do too much, or they got too much going on, or they're already taken. That's what you're thinking. That's how you see them. So let's take a look at the challenge. Now we got Temperance and we got the Empress. Now Temperance, with this card, all of your relationships, they should be going well. You may need to look at any deep personal issues if you have any and see if they're standing in your way and if they are. Try to find out how to work through them and integrate them because the ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with your goals and aspirations. So it's about taking a look at anything you feel guilty about, any past mistakes that you've made and forgive yourself because that's the only way that you can truly make progress in life and in your situations and with yourself. So it's about finding balance, this temperance card. Peace of mind. Now it's with the Empress. The Empress is an interesting card in the tarot. It's showing that she's one that doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own ideal of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now. This doesn't mean that she'll always get her way, but it's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. It's showing that it's a, well, it's not, not really, well, what the Empress is basically all about, it's about coming abundance. But don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially, because there are many types of wealth, riches in life, and money is only one of them. And with the Empress, you can encompass any for all of them. When the Empress talks about love and relationships, um, or just when it talks about love, it's a very potent time for you. You could find that men and women alike, they're suddenly finding you far more attractive in terms of both friendship and romance. But you'll have to use this power carefully you have to be careful how you use this this energy um, don't underestimate its potency yeah yeah you'll, you'll be attracting 
all kinds, all types. Very potent, this Empress. Um, people just are drawn to the Empress. They find this person really attractive. And if you're dealing with someone, just a side note, there's deep love that this person has for you. So the challenge, temperance, and empress. So the challenge is, is that this person that's that's dying, looks like he's di dying to come towards you, and you think that they're already, you know that they're already with someone. The challenge is that this person, they find you really attractive as the empress, um, they want to be with you, and you, you're thinking it's going to be hard to find balance or peace of mind with this person because you feel like they, they're with someone already, and I guess that's not what you're looking for. You're not looking for someone that's already taken. So you you might give it a second thought there because it looks like they're very determined to reach out to you and be with you, but you're thinking, you're thinking that it, it may not bring you a peace of mind and you might prefer to have more balance in your life because you see them as someone who's already taken. Now, let's take a look at the outcome. So we got the Knight of Wands and it's with the Six of Wands. Now the Knight of Wands is showing that's a great time for travel. If you can manage to get away, you should be feeling charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is increasing. And this should help reach towards any goals that you have. Um, the Knights, once again, uh, it's about messages. So this person is, <laughs> they're coming back. They, they're still determined to Stay connected with you. Okay, so, yeah, the Knight of Wands, they're very fearless, the Knight of Wands, very brave. Now, this person could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Very confident. It's a lot like the Queen of Wands, so I'm picking up that this is the person from the recent past that we talked about. We got to true pair here the queen of wands well not necessarily a true pair but they're kind of similar the kind of the knight of wands like i said fear this brave um very confident and this queen of wands we talked about in the recent past um they're very this person is very confident and very determined so I'm picking up this person that um, you cut out in the recent past. It looks like this is them. They're trying to make a return. Now for the outcome again, it's with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords, it's showing a great time for travel if you can manage to get away. Um, or it could be a change in where you are inwardly. And the changes for the better, whether it's internal or external, it's about thinking where you want to be. It's showing at least a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So it's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery is helpful. And this doesn't have to cost money. So Pisces, what we got here is um, the person that you cut out in the recent past. They're, they were determined about you then when you cut them out and they're determined about you now. Because for the present time, they come rushing in. They want to be next to you. They find you beautiful. They, they like you a lot. They're very attracted to you. They got some serious uh, mojo for you 
but you it's a challenge because you you probably already know this person has someone and it looks like you're more focused on having a peace of mind and not really interested in dealing with someone that juggles so it's a, it's a challenge for you you know this person wants to be with you it looks like um like I said, they're, they'll be reaching out to you if they haven't already. And it looks like they're not going to stop. Because for the outcome, here they come again. Yeah, they come back again. Um, they want to connect with you. They want to be with you. This person is not going to stop, Pisces. They are not going to stop. And with the Six of Swords here... This person is so determined about you and it looks like they'll just take any any part of you that they can. Any if you if you offer a small portion, they'll take that. It looks like because the six of swords is here, you might tell this person that you're more interested in uh just having a peace of mind at this time but they still keep coming back and they're more than willing to just have your leisure time to be with you on a on a leisure basis they just want to get their foot in the door and just be in calmer waters with you this is sounding like this is sounding like it could be um, not necessarily a love reading for a lot of you Pisces. This could be a family member that you had a fallout with in the past. You cut them out. And it looks like they're trying to come in to make good. If this is not a love interest. It could be a family member or friend. They're trying to come in and reach out to you and just to make things right with you again. And you could think that um, you prefer to, you prefer not right now. Maybe because you got a lot of things going on yourself. And you just want balance and peace in your life. But this person, they're, they're reaching out over and over again. They're just trying to make things right. They just want to move in the calmer waters with you. So I'm picking up, it's not really a love reading, Pisces. But it could be. A, a love a love interest that's very attracted to you okay or it could be a friend or a family member who misses you misses you a lot they find you like the empress a lot of people are are drawn to the empress yeah a family member misses you Pisces and they they don't care they just want to be in at least in your space like these two people are in the boat together and the water is still, it's not, the wind is not breezy. Yeah, so somebody wants to make good with you. Or you got a love interest, a lover that wants to be next to you. Be really close to you, because they, this person keeps coming back over and over again. They just want to be, if you don't take them back for a lover, they'll take you back for for a friend until they can get their foot in the door. Door. Door.